Hello, film fans. Welcome to the Film vs. Film podcast. My name is Martin Harris, your host, and I'm joined by the film encyclopedia man, Power Sticks. We are a couple of filmmakers on occasion, but mainly can't stop yapping about movies. On this podcast, every episode we pick a topic from a film that's coming out of the cinema or on VOD. Myself and Bowers pick our favourite film from that topic and we battle it out to decide which film will become the greatest film of all time, according to two film geeks from Wiltshire, England. If you enjoy this podcast, please leave us a review and subscribe. Is the convergence going to be a major part moving forward, do you reckon, in terms of the whole MCU? Yeah, I think it would be a great storyline to, you know, incorporate more of the characters in, make a giant ensemble film and have everything lead up to it. You know, they have mentioned it here. uh, It's essentially the first mention that, you know, universes collide into each other. That is based on, um, you know, the comic books. I can't remember the name of the event, but I do remember that it was in was it new avengers volume three or okay. something you know <laughs> yeah uh i have to sort of you know but it, it was like many many comics in the uh, avengers title and it was basically a way to sort of soft reboot the mcu oh, right. and to sort of streamline yeah. it yeah so essentially it was a way to get like get rid of some characters they didn't want <laughs> and add add other characters that they did want and get rid of some of their alternate universes oh, okay so like the ultimate universe a way to get rid of that and some of their other universes and bring those characters the fan favorite ones like miles morales into regular continuity yeah, okay but it was a very very strange event uh in the comics you know so i don't think they're gonna go that far because it was it was pretty fucking wacky okay do you want to know more about that yeah sure <laughs> okay so it gets really weird and i'm gonna try and simple it simplify it but essentially the Marvel heroes find out that universes are colliding into yeah, each other. Which is happening now, and, I guess. Which is happening now. But the reasons why and what actually happens gets kind of weird. So what they find out is if you destroy the other Earth that's going to collide, then the universes kind of pass by each other. Okay. <laughs> so like the, the Earths are the collision points, you know, the alternate Earths. So the Illuminati uh, in the comics, they decide to essentially destroy other earths oh really so the you Jesus know all, yeah so all of the heroes so like you know professor x and and doctor strange and and uh, uh name of the submariner and whoever else is on the illuminati they they go to these other universes and blow up you know their uh, other alternate earths to save their earth and i think they mind wipe captain america so he has no knowledge of this <laughs> and then captain america starts fighting them when he remembers this all right you know, does his own Avengers team because he thinks what they're doing is wrong. And then there are other teams as well that are also engaged. So there's these women called the Black Swans, <laughs> and they come to like destroy both Earths. Yeah. Okay. They they're from a different team, and they're trying to destroy both colliding Earths. So both yeah. Earths. So uh, that the universe is saved, uh, the multiverse is saved. And then there's like another team called the Markers, oh, right. and they come out, and they're they're there to like mark each of the earths it gets really fucking weird <laughs> like there are so many it's like called like the game of uh, game of worlds or oh, whatever. Right. so it gets pretty weird and it turns out who's behind this is again this is, gets weird it it turns out there's a character called the molecule man oh, yeah, right who's a very old fantastic four okay. villain yeah and so he's been in the comics for a very long time and it turns out uh, they retcon his origins so Initially, it was like he's uh, he tries to get energy from this universe called the Beyond the you know realm mm-hmm. or something, and he gained this power when he act, you know turned on this whatever uh, machine to harness energy from it. So they retcon it to say that there are these beings from the Beyond the realm called the uh, what was it Silver Kings or the Beyonders, okay. yeah, and they live outside of the multiverse and so they saw the whole mcu so they saw the marvel multiverse and they thought what if we just blew it up and so they created a molecule man in every universe in the marvel universe yeah. uh, multiverse and then they were going to detonate him oh at a particular point in time <laughs> so that all of them would detonate and the multiverse would be destroyed 
then this gets even more confusing. So one of the Molecule men... Like, nah, he, I'm not doing he, it. Can't be asked. <laughs> so, yeah, so he he actually he figures out what his purpose is. Oh, really? And he tells Doctor Doom. Okay. Yeah? So him and Doctor Doom go from universe to universe killing Molecule men <laughs> before they detonate. Okay. Yeah? But even if you kill them prematurely... They do detonate, but it doesn't destroy that universe, but it makes the universe unstable, so it starts to collide into other universes. (laughs) And so, basically, this whole series ends with the Beyonders actually coming to the Marvel multiverse, and they are very powerful. Like, they're just wiping the floor with everybody. Mm. Like, each one is got stupid amounts of power. You know, like, they they can kill, you know, Galactus and, and... the living tribunal, everybody. Yeah. I think they do kill the living tribunal very easily. Killing most of the heroes, it's very easy for them. And then I think it ends with Doctor Doom having like a few of Molecule Men that he didn't destroy, but he's kind of kept. And he detonates them all in front of the Beyonders and that kills them. Then he absorbs the power of the Beyonders and becomes God King Doom and then makes one universe and one Earth called Battle World and becomes the god of that universe. <laughs> and then you have Marvel Secret Wars Jesus tw- Christ. 2015, where uh, they're trying to basically beat God King Doom and you know Battle World and all that. And then they they reboot the Marvel universe. So they're not going to do any of that because that is that is fucking ridiculous. But that was essentially what the plot wow. was in in the comics. Yeah. I think everyone stopped listening now, but um, <laughs> all right. Yeah, no, I think their brain has turned to mush. It's just come out their ears, and uh, oh. yeah, that was that was really confusing. But yeah, that's it for this week's pod. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to find out more about the podcast or suggest future topics for us to discuss related to upcoming releases, let us know on Instagram at Film vs Film Podcast and on Twitter at FVF underscore Podcast. Remember. Please subscribe. Pod signing off.